Now, where is my list? Hello, what's up everyone? My name is Gani. And today we're going to learn about how to add your contacts or your subscribers into your list using an email platform called MailChimp. So what is a list? A list is actually a compilation of email addresses from your subscribers of your website or your fan list, which they voluntarily give it to you because they would like to receive email communication from you using a platform like uh, MailChimp, Aweber, Constant Contacts and many more. Now recently in MailChimp, they have changed the definition of a list. So it's no longer called a list but rather an audience. So within an audience, there are contacts. So previously it was known as a list, now they are known as contacts. And contacts can be broken down into several categories. So let's have a look. Okay, there are several types of contacts. The first is subscribers, which is those who are subscribed to receive your email marketing and given permission to receive email from you. So this is pretty straightforward. Now, the second category is those who are unsubscribed. I mean, previously someone who have started to receive your email marketing but has opted out. Now, the thing with MailChimp is the, it has changed its uh, payment plan, meaning that previously those who are unsubscribed doesn't count into the plan limit. But with the new changes in MailChimp, those who have unsubscribed, which they still remain as a contact in your audience, they still count to your monthly payment limit. Since MailChimp charges by the number of contacts that you have, although they have unsubscribed, they still count to your monthly plan limit. And if you breach a certain tier, MailChimp will start to charge you more. So you got to be really, really cautious about this category here. So I'll, I'll go down a bit late detail here. So those who are non-subscribers are those who have interacted with your online store but hasn't opt-in to receive email marketing. So I had this problem when I, in, because I connected my MailChimp to my e-commerce store. And what I started to notice was I could not email those who have transacted on my website. The reason being was because they did not opt-in to receive the email marketing. So they were called transactional customers, which they only can receive transactional-based emails such as order confirmation. And yet, they are still counted to the monthly plan. So I'm not going to go into the clean, that's straightforward. Archive is the contacts that you have archived who have been removed from your marketing audience. So now, if you have people who are unsubscribed, you can actually archive them so they don't count to your monthly plan limit but you can not edit your profile or send them any marketing communication so previously audience was known as list so mailchimp have changed the terminology right now so it's known as audience so when you click on it you will be shown the list of audience that you have if this is new to you you probably have nothing here and you can go ahead and create your audience by clicking on the top right button here it says create audience i just like to share with you that under each audience this is where you create your contacts and not necessarily that those who are in your contacts are actually your subscribers and you only can email to your subscribers now, if, if you're going to have a multiple of audience, do remember that if you have the same email address between these two audience, they're still counted as different contacts. Meaning you, if you have james at al.com and you have james at al.com, it still counts as two different contacts in your list and it will add up to your monthly plan limit. So let's go ahead and create an audience. To create an audience is pretty simple. You just need to fill in the necessary fields as below. Let's go ahead and create one. So you can create any name for your audience as long as you are aware of it. And create a default address and from. And you have to put in a description on how did they sign up to get into your audience list. Once you have done that, click on the save button. And ta-da, you have created your first audience. Now, since you have zero contacts, why not we add them in? You can add them using multiple methods. You can actually add them through directly as add a subscriber. Let's click on this. 
So you can add a contact one by one, one person at a time using their email address and so forth. Or you could actually import them. And there are several ways how you import. I'll show you one example, which is which my favorite, which is actually copying from Excel. And let me open my Excel file that I have here. So you got to separate them into each column. So for instance, if you have name, email, and mobile, it has to be column A, B, and C. So all I need to do is highlight the data that I want. I do Control C to copy, and I just paste it here. And click on the check. As you can see here, if you import more than 81 new subscribers, will upgrade you to a new billing plan. So do remember that for each audience, all the contacts are considered separate. So once you have done with that, continue to match. And here, what you need to do is click on the edit button. MailChimp will try to identify each of the fields accordingly, but you still have to confirm. So click on edit. So I know these are the names. So I'm going to say they are going to be my first name. And I'm going to click on save. And these are email address, of course. I'm going to click on save. And, and the lastly is the mobile number, the phone number. Okay, I'm going to click on save. And I'm going to click on continue to organize. I can create a tag if I want to. The tag is a way for you to identify easily a group of your contacts, meaning that if these contacts are, maybe I'll add them to my website audience. So I know that they came from my website or they're probably interested in my website course. So I'm going to create that and I'm going to choose the status of subscribed. And I'm going to click on continue to review. So they're going to import three columns, copy and paste method, I have a tag involved. And I'm going to click on import. And voila, I have three contacts added. So within my audience, which is the test audience, I have three of my contacts here. And all of them are subscribed to my email marketing list. And I can start emailing them. So let's recap what we learned. Number one, list has been changed to audience. Number two, you've got to be really cautious about how you manage your contacts now if you're using MailChimp because those who have unsubscribed to your list are still counted into your monthly billing plan. So you're paying for nothing exactly. So make sure your contacts were unsubscribed or not active, clean them out, archive them. Number three, we learned about how to add email addresses or contacts into your audience. And it's as simple as actually adding manually one by one, or you can actually import them in from an Excel or a CSV file. In the next video, we'll speak about how to create an email marketing campaign to reach out to your subscribers uh, through the MailChimp marketing platform and many aspects of MailChimp. So if you want to find out more how to use email marketing to communicate, or to achieve, to create a lead, or create interest to your program, those courses, and so on using the email marketing platform. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, and we'll be keep in touch. See ya.